Beard Nation, hello! Dan C. Bearded here. This is the channel where my subscribers call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related. And today we have another beard review for you guys. We're going to be joined by my awesome wife, Sam C., in a little bit. And today we're going to be covering the company called Husky Beard. We're going to break down what is new with this company. We're going to talk about their owner, their products, and this is officially the biggest review on this channel's history. We have 50 different products. We're not going to talk about each of them individually, but we have oils, we have balms, we have what they call a beard cream, but it's essentially a beard butter. We have combs, we have brushes, we have everything to talk about, you guys. 50 products from this company, and I'm going to explain why I have been highly impressed with this company. No affiliate code, no commissions, but I'm really going to rave about them, you guys, because they have some products that have really impressed me, which is not easy to do these days. As you guys know, I'm always going to tell it like it is, keep it honest, no matter how much I like the company, no matter how much I like the owner, these guys have really, really impressed. So please get comfortable, get a snack, get a beverage of choice, join the family and learn about this company. Company. A little bit of information about the Husky Beard Company. They are out of USA and they've actually been around for a few years now and have had a track record of a lot of sales and doing well. One of the things that they were not known for early on was their customer service or just really their interactions with the community and the customers. Well, last year in June, so almost exactly one year ago, they were bought by a guy by the name of Ray. Ray calls himself a serial entrepreneur. He likes to really help companies optimize their website, optimize what they're offering for the people, but also for the company. And he's fallen in love with this company. He's a bearded gentleman himself, and he's put everything into this company, from improving the quality of their combs to offering more scents and products to their product lineup. And he has taken it from what had a really solid base of a company into one that I think is going to reach that upper echelon in the beard industry. So it's all about improvement, all about growing and getting out to you guys with this new and improved Husky Beard Co. Price. I like to rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating. And I'm going to give the Husky Beard Co. the top of a two dollar sign price rating. If you go on their website, they have all sorts of sign up deals where you can get percentages off. They have free shipping marks and everything in there, um, but pretty easy to break down the cost of everything. For a one ounce bottle of beard oil, that is going to cost you $18.99. So that is a little bit above the market average, but like I said, they run deals and have percentages that bring it right down to market average there. And even at straight up $18.99, that's not quite into that $3 sign price range yet, but it is at the top of the two. They also have a two ounce beard balm. The two ounce beard balm is gonna run you also $18.99. And then to keep things simple, their beard cream or beard butter, two ounces, once again, $18.99. So very simple there to keep the numbers straight and the price for you guys. So definitely the top of a two dollar sign price rating. All right, beardos and ladies, I've brought her in, the beautiful Sam C. Hi. Anybody new to the channel, this is my wife. She joins us on every review to give the female perspective on scents and just overall feel for the company. Mm -hmm. So Sam, what are we looking at in front of us? I'm very overwhelmed. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. So we have, I think, two, four, I think 15 scents that we're going to go over. Uh, one of them's naked, so we'll see if you think it smells like anything. One That's, of them's naked. Yeah, one of them, they forgot their clothes. Uh, but other than that, we'll go over the scents, okay. and then we'll break down one uh, balm and one cream, which is their butter, to see if you think it smells any different there. Okay. And that would be that'd be about it. So the first one, we're essentially going to go kind of in alphabetical order, other than the first one. The first one is my favorite. I wanted to catch anybody before they left or had to pause or anything, because they always want to know the favorites. And this okay. is my number one favorite, and this is called Cabin Fever. Cabin and fever okay so you're gonna open them get a smell That's a lot of pressure yep you're gonna open them give a smell they're not childproof or anything so okay. it should be okay and then I'm gonna hit you with the description um, and we'll get thoughts on everything because okay. gotta go a little quick you know get everything through here 
So the Cabin Fever mm -hmm. is a crisp, warm, and woodsy scent. It has frankincense, clove, juniper berry, and eucalyptus. Yeah. I smell all that. Yeah, for me too. For whatever reason, it makes me think of onions. Onions? Interesting. Because I hate onions. I despise <laughs> onions. And I love the smell of this. I'm not even a huge clove fan. I don't really like clove, mm -hmm. but I really like the clove It is in here. a little bit spicy. Yeah. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's the eucalyptus or what, but to me, it's very addicting. Super, super good smell. All right. Now let's smell it in the beard balm. See what you think about it in the beard balm. Same. A lot lighter. Yeah, a lot lighter. Same, Same scent, yeah. but just not as strong. It's funny because first the spiciness hits you and then the eucalyptus mm -hmm. hits you. It's not like they're combined yeah. for me. Yeah, they are in there individually. It's, yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Really cool. Now the beard cream or beard butter. Same strength as the balm. Yeah, maybe a little bit lighter even than yeah. the balm, which I think is appropriate and good there. So awesome. Okay, next up we have... And I believe this is pronounced Akoni. Is that right? Sure. A-K-O-N-I. And this is, I believe, kind of a Hawaiian feel, if I remember correctly. So this is by far the most popular scent. By far. It is a clean, crisp scent. And it has, in Hawaiian, is meaning of admiration or praise. So there is ginger, which I am loving ginger lately. Uh, pepper, basil, sage, cedar, amber, patchouli, redwood, birch, tar, and... Uh, tar? Tar, T-A-R, okay. and labadanum. I don't know what that is. Thoughts? Um, it is a beautiful, fresh cologne. Yeah. It is not a mix... It could, I mean, it is a mix of all those things. You don't smell those things. It's a cologne. Downright it's like, cologne. Yeah. It's beautiful. Almost like a tropical cologne. Oh, like, I really like that. Yeah, it's super nice, and it is. It's a cologne, not an overwhelming cologne by any no. means. It's not a spicy cologne. Nope. It's not an aggressive cologne. Um, I, I would say fresh, borderline sweet and floral in there. Yeah, almost like fruity, floral, yeah, fresh. Yeah, yeah, yep, exactly. Good. All right, next one we have is American Reserve. American Reserve. And they have really, really cool names on there. And then mm -hmm. the, on the website, they have pictures that go with all of the, the labels and okay. stuff. So it's kind of nice. Black and white bottles keep it nice and simple. So American Reserve is, if you like bourbon, then you'll love this scent. They said it's similar to a men's cologne. We have citrus, cedarwood, patchouli, and sugar. I get the sugar. Yeah. I can smell the sugar. Mm -hmm. It's when they say bourbon, I get the scent of bourbon, but I don't get that alcoholiness yeah. that usually comes with mm -hmm. it. To me, it's like a warm, caramely type scent. Yeah, I get kind of caramel. Sugar. Yeah, I don't see it as a cologne. I see it more as just like a masculine sort of I, smell. I agree completely. I don't get the cologne out of there. I get kind of a, a sweet, like I said, caramel, warm smell. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's not one of my favorites, but it's good. All right. Autumn Night. Autumn Night. I think you're going to like this one. Okay, so Autumn Night is... First thoughts. Smoky. Smoky, okay. Smoky Bonfire with a hint of fresh cut wood and molasses that's not overpowering. Sandalwood, cedarwood, molasses, smoke. I just get smokiness okay. out of it. Um, yeah. I. So this one I forgot. So I love this one in beard because the smoke kind of settles and I get the other scents in there. And I forgot in bottle how strong the smoke is. Yeah. I think it's just because it's kind of contained inside of there. But the smoke does mellow in beard. If you notice, I've used this already a couple times. Um, and it's really, really nice in beard. I would say don't let the smoke overwhelm you. Sam's not a big smoke fan. Mm -hmm. And uh, in beard, the smoke goes away a little bit still there but it does smell like a night in fall like it's uh you're roasting s'mores kind of scent yeah for me it smells like like a burnt wood and less like a campfire oh does yeah. that make sense yes 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 okay. and i agree i prefer a burnt wood smell okay. than a campfire smell i don't not like me. camp i don't like campfire in my no. beard he does not no he does not like this i don't like campfires. campfire on my on my clothes on my skin and this is not that so good yeah. call i agree all right, next up we have black suede. Black suede, just like my shoes right now. Okay, I don't what wear shoes? shoes in the house, you weirdo. I hate socks and I hate shoes. I don't wear them. All right, so this is a blend that includes midnight vanilla, 
rosemary, cedarwood, frankincense, and clove. They say that it has velvety, sensual, and deep notes. If you're into that sort of spiciness, yeah. then I guess that could be sensual for you. Yeah, there is Not some so spice. Much for me. You, you get the clove. Right, it says yeah. clove in there. You, you get the clove. It. Yep, you get the mm -hmm. clove. Um, yeah, just it's not for us, but it, yeah. we have people that are major clove lovers. So if you want clove with a little bit of a twist on it, black suede is going to be for you. Going to be for you. Nice. Next one we have floral paradise. Mm. Floral paradise. Sam is known to to dabble with the the floral side <laughs> of the game. Okay, so floral paradise is sweet and foresty, and it is supposed to have in here, pine, rosemary, lavender, grapefruit, and frankincense. I get that. It smells like if you're like in the forest and you see mm -hmm. wildflowers and you smell them and they have that like earthy, dirty forest smell along yeah. with the floral smell. Right. That's this. Definitely. In the best possible way. <laughs> right. And I would, I think I would be crazy over this one if the pine wasn't so prominent. Yeah. I love the other notes in there. And I'm actually liking pine on its own lately. Um, I just wish there was more floral in it. I agree. I wish there I was wish more. I wish there were like a few more flowers. I agree. All right. Next one up is Midnight Charmer. Midnight Charmer. Way past my bedtime, so... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> if it's on the weekend, I'm probably filming and That's editing true. and stuff. I stay up really late doing that, but I enjoy it. So this says on the title, that's a smooth and seductive scent. Smooth and seductive. So we have rosemary, melon, tobacco, and vanilla. I really enjoy this one. Yeah. I mostly get melon. It's just a very fresh scent. It's not... I do get melon too. And it's, uh, yeah, it's fresh. I don't get any yeah. of the tobacco in there at all. Yeah, I just get a really good melon yeah. scent. Yeah, and if I think if you focus, you can get the rosemary. Maybe that was only in beard. Do you not get rosemary? No. Okay, I, I do in beard. Okay. And I think I wore this one yesterday, so it's really fresh on my mind. Super refreshing, really nice melon there. Yeah, I don't get any tobacco. No. And I'm not a tobacco fan, and neither is Sam, so I uh, wanted to know there. All right, morning coffee, morning coffee. So as you guys know, Sam is obsessed with coffee and drinks filming coffees, but now since she's been pregnant, she hasn't been feeling it as much, even though you've you've had some ice had caps. Couple, yeah. yeah, yeah, so she, she's dabbled. So she's not obsessed as much with uh, coffee as she was a couple yeah. months ago. I'm like nervous to smell this. You'll be okay, you'll like it. Coffee beans, vanilla, and cinnamon. Yeah, it's a beautiful, sweet coffee smell. Yep. Yep, coffee shop, you walk in and you hear the, okay, espresso es or? Espresso. Okay, that's what I thought. Espresso, not an espresso. Right. Right, everybody says espresso, it's espresso. You hear the, psh, the machine going and the like hipsters working and this is what they're making right here. Really Only nice. hipsters work in coffee shops oh. in Dan's mind. Oh, in my mind, that, that is a fact. There's no opinion on that. That is a fact. At least the like one and a half that I've been to. Yeah. I didn't eat, I didn't order anything, but I've been there. All right, next up, Ocean Breeze. Ocean Breeze. Very common, uh, very common beard product name. Mm. Ocean Breeze. So Ocean Breeze has citronella, bergamot. That's what that is. One of my favorite scents, eucalyptus, and lavender. Um, it's very overpowered by the citronella. A hundred percent. It is a, for me, would be a really good outdoor scent. Like truly, like not in a bad way to get rid of mosquitoes. Yeah. It really smells like citronella. And I think paired with something like eucalyptus that has a similar profile to citronella, yeah. it like magnifies yeah. it. Yeah, I agree. So if you like that scent, it is, yeah, top notes of citro mm -hmm. citro <laughs> citronella and it'll, yeah. it'll get you there. All right, next one. I'm really interested to see what you think of this one. Pear wood. So when I first wore this one, I was like, Huh, I don't know what Sam's gonna think because I'm always constantly in my mind is what does Sam think about this? Especially about if, everything in yeah, your life. It pretty much is, yeah. <laughs> uh, but especially when it comes to uh, scents and if she's pregnant, I gotta have something that she enjoys. So what are your thoughts on this one? Because I did not know where you're going. It has pear, cedarwood, sandalwood, redwood, and vanilla. I smell pear yep. and I smell wood. I wish it was more of a fresh pear and not a sweetened pear. 
Okay. It's very sweet. Yeah, see, I'm the opposite. I what? enjoy the sweet side okay, of it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I enjoy, I like that it's, it's a sweet pear. It's almost like candy. Yeah, like candy yep. Candy pear. Yep. I don't know if that's the thing. But. Yeah, I enjoy this a lot. You do get the notes of wood in the background, but mm -hmm. you do get the sweetness of the pear. It's not a shocker. I love sweet scents, yeah. so this one fits me really, really well. Okay, so freshness, that makes sense. Yeah. I was wondering where you're at. All right, next up, Royal Black. Got a couple more going, guys. And again, hopefully we're painting a picture for you guys so you can figure out what works for you to try this company. All right, Royal Black here. Let's see what we got for Mr. Royal Black. Dun, dun, dun. So this is tobacco, amber, and vanilla. Tobacco, amber, okay. and vanilla. Yeah, I... I smell all those. Yep, a hundred percent. And to me, the tobacco is like a cigar tobacco, like a dry rolling tobacco. Okay, I don't know my tobacco, so yeah. Um, I don't think that it's very overpowering tobacco scent. I agree. Because when I smelled it, I actually liked it, and then I yeah. had tobacco, and I was like, "Ooh, tobacco." Yeah, and there is vanilla in there. You smell yeah. that, and then amber. I don't, I don't specifically smell amber, but I smell something else. Yeah, and that's where the the amber must be coming in. Smells like uh, an older gentleman who wears a suit. Yeah, I agree. Yep, older gentleman wears a suit, so really nice. All right, next one is Smooth Maverick. Smooth Maverick. All right, let's see what we got here on Smooth Maverick. Okay, I don't, this one might be new. I don't see, I don't see this one on the, the website right now. So, so this could be a new one. I'm gonna say it's Peppermint? Yeah, there's definitely some peppermint in there. Something else in there. I would say overall a minty side. And yeah. I would say it's more on that peppermint. Maybe a little bit of spearmint in there too. Um, <laughs> and it's uh, it's not, and we've said this already about cologne, but it's not an aggressive one. You know how no. sometimes you smell mint and it's like, whoo, yeah, yeah, that's a mint wash. And it's sometimes I it's like good, it. right? And you like yeah. that? Yeah, this is a subtle side of mints. I love it. Like, yeah. absolutely love it. It's not a candy mint. It's not overwhelming. It's no, just it's a good, sweet. solid mint, fresh mint, almost like a mint leaf. See if you get mint leaf out of that. Have you ever worked with a mint leaf and slacked it? No. Yeah, you got, I like, like, when you I get I think it smells like gum. Okay, see, I think it's like a more subtle gum. But yeah, mint leaves, when you got to activate them for like a mojito, you have to slap them. It gets the oils going and everything. And that's true. Like, they'll tell you. They'll tell you. They'll tell you. Love, absolutely love Smooth Maverick, which makes sense, right? Mint, smooth, everything in there. All right, next one. When I read this name, this one scared me, Woodstock. I like, feel like we just had one named Woodstock from another company. Could be. Or maybe it was like Dirty Hippie or something. It was, yep, 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 <laughs> something hippie, yep. All right, Woodstock. So this Ooh. is, I know, what I said, it scared me, but then I tried it. Sandalwood, bergamot, cedarwood, and patchouli. You knew patchouli was going to be in there. If it's going to have to deal with hippies and Woodstock, you got to have patchouli. But the sandalwood and bergamot and cedarwood, give it some nice, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't, yeah, it's another one of those things where they all come together to form something new and you don't specifically smell yeah, each of yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, It's just kind of like a nice, fresh, maybe floral hinted mm -hmm. scent. And that's the patchouli in the background. I think the woods give it that freshness and the bergamot. It's super nice. It is like really nice. Super. This is a that's, daily wear for me. That's like, probably my second or third favorite. Okay, what are your favorites so far? All right, we got one more. We got one more too, and then we'll go from there. All right, next one is Whiskey River. Whiskey okay. River. All right, and let's get the breakdown on Whiskey River here. Okay, Whiskey mm. River is da, 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 inspired by America's number one ranked Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. It has charred caramel. Aged mm -hmm. maple, vanilla, and cinnamon, and oak. Yeah, I, it's... Um, yeah, it's not whiskey to it's me, It's like though. when you're baking or, like, sautéing something with alcohol. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. bananas yeah. foster or something like that. Yeah. So when I think of whiskey, I think of smelling a glass of whiskey and going, Oh, okay, this is going to burn. This is going to burn. And I don't have much experience with whiskey. I'm, I'm allergic to most whiskey. So I don't have a ton of experience there, but... Those are my memories. I get the alcohol in the background. Yeah. First and foremost, it's like a caramelized, caramel mm -hmm. scent. 100%. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really rich. Like yeah, really, rich. really thick and rich. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's not an everyday wear, but it's maybe like a going out, it's hanging a, out with your buddies. It's definitely a fall scent. Yeah, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. 
fall and winter. It is yeah. a, a warm, rich, like, yeah. like I feel like I could cut this with a knife. Uh, so if you like that, this will be one for you. Mm -hmm. And then naked. I like how the naked has like blurred out. Like it's like censored the, the letters on there. So naked. All right, see if it is a natural carrier smell or if it is just straight up no scent whatsoever. I don't get anything. Nothing. Breathing air. Pure oxygen in there, which a lot of guys, when they're looking for an unscented, that's what they want. You could go hunting with this. If you have skin reactions to fragrances, you're good to go here. Mm -hmm. All right. So for me, my favorite is Cabin Fever. I really, I think this is probably your yes, favorite too. That's my favorite. Aconian, this is their their number one seller. Sam also really liked Woodstock. Mm -hmm. I'm a Where big was fan. That, um, I'm a big fan of Smooth Maverick, the mint one. That cologne scent. Cologne that was. Da, da, was it black suede? No, it was, I think it was one up. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I don't remember. The cologne one, guys. Wait, was the cologne one the this one? What, Coney? Yeah. Yes, I think it was. I swear, yeah. Yep. I swear there was one more that I really liked. Yeah. I can't remember, you guys. I have a terrible memory. <laughs> she does. She does. But yeah, those would be our favorites right there. I think we, if we had to like come together and say we can only keep mm -hmm. one for the family, it would probably be this fresh floral yes. Oconee is really nice. I did like Floral Paradise too. I got to throw that in there. I did like that one, even though there were some things we added for, mm -hmm. for improvements. I really enjoyed that one. But they're all, how we describe them is they are pure to that. So it's going to be something for you. Yeah. Right? I think it's awesome yeah, when a company. Yeah, you find something Yes, here. right. If you don't have a profile <laughs> that you enjoy out of this, yeah, right? Because even if you don't. It's too picky. Yeah, even if you don't, there's the unscented. So yeah, you're true. good to go there. So awesome. Tons of products. What do you think about this? Hatchet comb. I know, right? And they got some like thick teeth on that yeah. too. It'll do some damage. Like the little windows cut out. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, super cool. I'll talk about it in the next segment. Awesome. All right, a long one, but I hope you guys enjoyed the descriptions from her side and my little additions there. Um, Husky Beard Co. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sam C. You're welcome. Feel in beard. How do these products make my beard feel? How do they make it look? What are the health implications? Now, I've been wearing these products almost for three weeks straight, morning and night, maybe with one or two days interrupted in there with another company, but I have been wearing them really, really thoroughly. I wanted to start with the Naked Oil first, just to make sure I could get a real feel for this company. What was it doing to my hair? What was it doing to my skin? And then I went in with their other scents. I went in with the balm. I went in with the night cream or the night butter. And guys, I have been blown away. Their feel and beard is one of the best that I've ever felt. My beard looks and styles amazing with these products. It fits my preference almost exactly. Now the oil is a straight up medium consistency. It has nice clear coloration for anybody that's worried about some of those darker oils. I'm not personally, I don't think they do anything to gray or silver hair, but some people do. So this is one that does have that lighter coloration. Now let me read you their carrier oils and I don't always do this, but I wanna make sure I'm reading these ones because there are some really great ones in there. Argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, sweet almond, apricot kernel, avocado, pumpkin seed, hemp seed, grape seed, and they are scented with premium grade essential oils. That is phenomenal. There's no one out there that can argue anything about those. They are great for your skin, they are great for your beard, and they just make your beard look amazing with the proprietary blend that they have. Phenomenal feel in beard for the oil. Now, the balm and cream are also top notch. The cream is a straight up whipped butter. There's no beeswax in here. I wanna show you guys the, uh, the consistency of this one. So when you see here, it's just that nice and smooth whipped butter. Nothing too crazy about it there. If it's like a true whipped butter, it kind of has that almost airy or foamy like. I just came a top video for beard butters recently and this company would make that list. I made that video before I received these products. Otherwise, they would be right on there with those whipped butter grates. I really, really enjoy it. Now the balm, get my butter off the hands here. The balm is nice and smooth, absolutely no grit in there whatsoever. And you can see, <laughs> the consistency here of the balm is it's a straight up medium consistency. Nothing that you need to pick to get out, nothing that's too creamy, but it emulsifies right down immediately. 
It's got a little bit of body to it, but smooth as can be. No grit whatsoever. And it has that nice middle ground of being nourishing, but not being too heavy. Of being having some hold, but not being a wax. It is what I think is the epitome of a balm, and I've talked about that many times on this channel. So truly, truly awesome feel and beard. They also offer this massive wood comb. It is very, very thick, very, very sturdy with this. It is gonna get through my entire beard. I really enjoy this one, especially at night when I'm getting ready for bed. And I just wanna let my beard breathe and get everything out. And they also have one of their top sellers here and it is the folding comb. This one is really cool. What I like about it is it's got these little like fancy windows on the back. And these ones are nice to keep in your car. That's where I keep mine. Uh, keep it in your car and you have it on the go. And it's kind of cool to show off to people. They also have a really, really good boar's hair bristle brush. This one is one of the exact ones that I really enjoy. It's got the flat top there. I usually prefer a little bit of a rounded top, but it's still good. It has the handles on the side, nice size in your palm. Awesome, awesome quality products here, guys. Again, the number one thing that I've been really impressed with is their feel and beard. And because of that, I'm hoping I'm able to work with this company more in the future because that is the most important thing. What is the health like? How does it make my beard look? Check, check, absolutely phenomenal. Rebuy. Would I look to use these products again? Would I look to acquire some new ones? Would I like to try anything else from this company? And most importantly, would I recommend them to you guys? Absolutely 100%. I was blown away by this company. And one thing that's kind of unique is usually I hear a lot about companies and people reach out to the company and they're like, let get a hold of Dan C, get a hold of Dan C. And then I try them and I'm like, oh yeah, I see what they mean. This is true. I do like this. This is good. I had never heard of this company. I'd never seen them on Instagram. I'd never seen any advertisements. I'd never heard anybody talking about them. And boom, they come out and blow me away. So 100% I would recommend them to you guys, especially their oil. When I use this oil on a daily basis, my beard looks amazing. It feels great. On an average day, I'm only using oil in the morning and that's what I have in today is their oil and that's it. And this is how it looks and styles. That doesn't happen with every oil I try and I tell you guys that. I always keep it honest with a taste of professionality in there. This company has been awesome. The oil is by far my favorite out of theirs. I really enjoy the balm if I want to get a day of nourishment, if I want to get a day for some style. And then their butter is right in on the rotation for my nightly butters when I want to use a uh, whipped butter, especially when I want to achieve some different scents or if I just want to hit the naked in there and, and have no scent for the night, which is nice a lot of times. So 100% I recommend them for you guys. Another thing that I love to be able to do to recommend them is they have a huge scent lineup that gives you guys options. For me, I love recommending companies that have all different scents because I know it's personal preference. Just because I like one doesn't mean you're going to. So it's good to have a lot of different options. When I know the feel is great, it's just up to you picking a scent. So question to leave you guys with. When you're checking out a company, I know a lot of you like to look for companies that offer everything and get a one-stop shop, but does the scent selection matter to you? Does that make a difference in when selecting a company? For example, have you ever heard of great things about a company and went to the site and said, oh man, they don't actually have enough sense for me to pick from, I'm gonna wait a while. Or no, that doesn't matter if they have four cents, you're gonna pick one of the four and roll with them. I've always been curious with that because when a company has a lot to offer that stands out to me, but I've also heard the opposite. I've heard people tell me some companies offer too many and they can't pick. So where are you? In the middle ground, do you like a company to have a lot of sense, not a lot of sense, so you can dial it in, break it down for me, give me any thoughts or experiences on this company. It is always an open forum. You guys can tell me any of your good experiences, any of your bad experiences, any of your average experiences. I want the viewers to go down to the comments and hear from you guys as well as me. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Husky Beard Company. This is one that I'm hoping to do more with. You will probably see in some tips and tricks videos just simply because I want my beard looking on point for those videos and this product does that. So thank you once again, guys. Dan C. Bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.